Hello everybody and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Morgana here and today I'm sharing a special painting. This is the short version of the latest two-part video demonstration from my Patreon page, this lovely summer foxglove scene. Please do follow the link below to sign up and check out the full length detailed demo on my Patreon page if you wish. And you can also watch me sketch this scene in my latest series of night sketching videos, which you can watch on my personal YouTube channel, Morgana Rose Art and Wildlife, which again, I'll link below. My new night sketching series is designed to offer my fellow insomniacs some nice, calm, restful sketching videos to watch and wind down to if you can't sleep or if you just want something nice and calming to pop on in the background whilst you relax. So now, returning to our summer garden scene, after applying masking fluid to the foxglove blooms, the first step for this painting is to wash over the whole area with clean water, ready to paint wet in wet. I'm using four colours for the background wash today, some twin gold, which you see here, some sap green, perylene green and ultramarine blue. I'll be adding these in the sort of loose spread out patches of soft colour to try and mimic the dappled pattern of sunlight drifting through a canopy of summer leaves. As well as my regular mop brushes, today I'm using a new brush as well, this quarter inch dagger brush from Princeton Synthetic Neptune range. It's perfect for a range of brush strokes such as these fine delicate lines as well as easily creating loose, elegant leaf shapes.
After adding a little bit of delicate spatter detail with a small fan brush, it's time to let the painting dry completely, preferably overnight. Don't forget as well to clean up your masking fluid before it all dries using some absorbent kitchen paper or tissue for a cleaner removal. Once the painting is fully dry and you've added any additional wet on dry details you need into the foliage, it's time to remove the masking fluid in preparation for painting the flowers. To paint the Fox Love flowers today, I'm using this lovely intense pink colour. This is Quinacridone Magenta or Quin Magenta from Windsor & Newton's Professional Colour Range. I'm also using these beautiful quill brushes from Da Vinci's Spin Synthetics range, which are lovely and springy and have a really nice fine point for getting the paint into these small corners and delicate edges.
After allowing the flowers to all fully dry, use some white gouache or some opaque white watercolour to add those characteristic dappled white freckles. Now to paint this sweet little wood mouse, I'm using a combination of raw umber, burnt umber and burnt sienna, softened with plenty of water to keep this little fellow safe in the shadows of the garden. An extra dab of white paint gives the wood mouse's eyes that extra sparkle. Add some more dark grasses around him at this point to settle him properly into the foreground of the painting if you wish. This moth I am painting using very simple loose line and dot patterns using some burnt umber and a small brush. And now we come to the final step, I'm adding a few small spatters of white across the lower part of this painting just to give that slight ethereal glint perhaps of tiny dancing dust notes or fireflies hidden in the garden's green depths. And with that, the painting is finished. Thank you everybody for watching and please do check out the full edit of this video on my Patreon page if you'd like to see a more in-depth style of demonstration by following the link to sign up below. 
please do also feel free to check out my new free night stitching series of quiet time videos on YouTube, which I'll link below as well. That's all from me today, so thank you again everybody for watching, wishing you all a wonderful rest of the week everyone, and very happy painting.